How's it going guys? Megatripper19 here. Welcome back to some more Paper Mario. We have a penguin murder mystery to solve, so let's get to it. Pretty sure we gotta go over here. Um, that guy's just hanging out over there. Right, that is what we have to do. We gotta crack this ice. We wanna get down to that key. Now that the other penguins are off it, we can we can do it. So let's go into sushi, and we can go grab the there you go key to a warehouse, which is that one right there. I'm gonna go into and go back into Cooper. What do you gotta say? This building's a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. I can't believe I lost it. I ought to retrace my steps. <laughs> hey, listen, if you find a key anywhere, let me know, okay? Well, we did, but I'm not gonna let you know. What do you gotta say? This is Herringway's house. He's a novelist. Herringway should be in there, but I haven't seen him lately. It's very peculiar. Yeah, we've been in there and there was nobody in there. Okay, and if you remember, the the dead mayor, he had a memo or something in his hand that said Herringway on it, so... Yeah, let's go use this key. Come on. Alright, let's go up these stairs. Then we're just gonna hop on out of here. God dang. Sorry, I just got a bad itch on my nose. Uh, is there something behind the chimney? No, no, looks like we're gonna be Santa Claus. Hey, there's a, there's a guy in here. What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Ingenious! Okay, let's uh, talk to this guy. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? Uh, no. What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop into the mayor's house. Okay. Engage stairs. Oh, that would be cool. Alright then, come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. I just want to check your room, see if there's anything in here. I don't see anything. Okay. Let's go. Hey, there he is. Alright. Jeez, he's pretty quick. For a penguin. I could probably outrace him if I had lackluster out here, but... Nah, he's gone. Let's go back to the mayor's house and get this whole thing sorted out. I'm sure there's a explanation. Can I get it? Oh. Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Okay, well, okay, you are coming in with this. Okay. Oh, you again. Have you come up with anything? Oh, I like that. That music in the background, it's so good. If I, I'm sorry, if I don't gush about the music in at least one video, then it's not a successfully made video. I just like the, the dramatic, almost courtroom music in the background. Anyway. Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What? What? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. Bah. If that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. <laughs> yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspen suspenseful. You live out your own plots. 
Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes. Yes, you were good friends. Aha! But that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I solved this crafty mystery. You are by no means Sherlock Holmes. Oh, come on. Really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm. This Penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. Oh, oh. Uh. Uh. Hey! Oh, my aching. Ouch. Eek! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! Eek! Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? What? What? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist. Huh? What are you talking about? Um... I think... I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Excuse me as I burp. God dang. Oh yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toe Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But Mayor, here we were thinking that you've been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Yeah, Mayor. Don't you slip and almost die. Ah, uh, yes. So sorry. Haha, <laughs> I thought it would... I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I have I just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Could you describe this ruckus? Hello, sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see. Of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you to out of the city. You'd better bundle up. Well, this is all I got, so, I mean, unless you got some... Some snow clothes for me, but you're a penguin, so you don't wear clothes. Except your wife's wearing an apron, and you're wearing a hat. Huh. <sighs> anyway, let's get out of here. I should smack that wife of her of his for accusing me of being the murderer, but penguin abuse is no laughing matter. So let's go. Let's go. We can leave the city now, so yeah, the whole penguin back, what was it, backroom murder mystery has been solved. I should have saved. Oh well, we'll be okay. And you, Ugh, you're so, hey, it's uh, Chuck Quizmo. Quiz, it's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. Want to try the quiz? Sure. I'm sure it's going to be some obscure question. Then let's go to the question. Hey, I never noticed Luigi and Yoshi in the crowd. Yeah, that's cool. And it looks like one of the, uh, the, the... Cooper brothers. Right there, next to Luigi. Cool. Alright, let's go. Is that a... No, that's a Monty Mall. I thought that was like a blooper or something on the bottom right to the left of Yoshi. Let's just go. Question. What ability does Goombario frequently use? 
uh, tattle. Hey! Correct! Congratulations. Here's your star piece. And we got star piece. You've correctly answered three questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well. Yeah, no. I tried seeing that once and it was terrible. I will never do that again. Okay, let's go. Chuck Quizmo, slow me down with your quizzes. I love them, though. I love flexing my knowledge. Okay, looks like we're... Is there something in the tree? I can't even hit the tree. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, it's you! Brr, ha ha ha. Brr, I've been waiting for you, Mario. I've been here forever. I was getting desperate. I thought I was gonna freeze. This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy. I hate it. I can't take it anymore. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm. You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it. What do you got this time? Oh, I've been busy, Mario. I learned some. I learned cool techniques. You get it, cause it's cold out. Check this out. Aha! That, that's it. Look at this piece. Look at that piece of work. I've been taking a little magic course on the side. And now you're gonna be my final exam. Yeah, I've got to win this time. Okay. That that's it though. You know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get a Mega Smash. We haven't gotten to use this yet. Bam! 11 damage. You eat that. You eat that and you like it. Just go for a... Just go for a Shell Toss. Get 4 damage. That's... Respectable. Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one. Oh, dang! That actually does quite a bit. Ha 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 ha! That felt fantastic! I just keep on getting better. Um, let's go with another Mega Smash. Bam. There you go. Yep, get that happy heart. I'm going to switch you, actually. I'm going to switch you to Lackluster. There we go. Dodge. Give me that Mega Smash. Don't know how much health this one has. If he's got about 50, then eh, he's shouldn't. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Actually, that would have been a big mistake. I was gonna use Cloud Nine, but then I wouldn't be able to use Mega Smash next time. So let's go for that. That's kind of a waste switching to him then. I didn't take that into account. Go for another Mega Smash. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so done for. You're so done for, kid. 14 damage. I don't know if I needed all that, but I got it, so that's good. 24 star points. Good stuff. No! I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Uh, Crap, let's go back and get a quick heal. Our flower points could really, really, really go for it. And there's some tough enemies up here, so... I don't want to be. I don't want to be real risking things because stuff will. Stuff will get me. So let's go take a quick snooze. Maybe we can get another iced potato or whatever that thing was that we got. I don't know if we'll be that lucky. Oh, we did. So is it every single time? Because that's two for two. That's. Pretty good odds. Um, let's go back to Cooper. I want to test that fire shell out and see if we can find some find some ice enemies. I'm gonna assume it does more just because that makes logical sense. I guess so. Let's get back on the trail. Oh, look at him. He's all frozen over now. That's funny. Poor guy, though. I do like him. I just... 
you know, he's, he's unlucky <laughs> having to fight me all the time. He isn't going to win. Oh yeah, we got some snowmen that we can't do anything with right now. Uh, oh, hey. Ice piranha plants. Oh god, those guys are here too. Those guys will, uh... I don't know what they're called. Gulpets. That's what it is. They'll go over and eat up those rocks and they'll spit them at you and it can do quite a bit of damage. Let's go with the fire shell. Eight and six. That's pretty good. Um, Go for a star storm. I have no clue as to how much health these things have. Usually by this point in the game, it's it's like every new area that I get to, I'll pull Goombario out and just let him start tattling on everything, but for the sake of, I guess, timing, it just, that takes a while to do, so. I'm being cautious, because I, I was going to say, I know I'm just going to step right into one of these guys, and they're going to end up just eating me up. Let's go with a jump on this one. Oh right, our jumps are going to do more now. I forgot about that. Because we have the Ultra Boots. Go for a Shell Toss. Hopefully you can kill him. If not, he'll... Oh, he did. Good. Good! Getting up there in the star points. I see a letter back there. Who's it to? Merlo. Oh. Okay. That's out of the way, but... Booah! Oh, God. Turn back. Come no further. Turn away, or I'll eat you. That's a pretty boss-looking enemy, I gotta admit. What do you think? Scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. Uh, I'm gonna fight you, actually. What? You will regret this. What is this thing anyway? A monster? Okay. Just go for that, I, I guess. Cooper, can you even do anything? Oh no, because he's floating, right? Uh. Pear carry. Get out of here. Um. That's. One damage? <laughs> Are you scared yet? Why do I not remember this guy? Um, just go for that, I guess. Oh, he's dead already. And we get 14 star points? No! Run away! Oh, that's right! It's the... Yeah, this thing. I gotcha. Yeah, that's why I don't remember it, because it's such a pathetic yet cool-looking enemy. Hey, there's Merle. Ah, you're Mario, yes. Thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm called Merle. Or Merle, whatever. I care for the star kids born here in Starborn Valley. There are, there are many things I must tell you, but not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please follow me. Uh, yeah, I'll follow you in a second. Just listen. Just I, I'm not even gonna. I must apologize for the rude reception of the Star Kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frighten strangers to try to keep this valley safe from Bowser's followers. All right, I understand. Please, you must forgive them. Yeah, that's fine. I wonder how Twink is doing. Oh, you know Twink. He was the last one to rise up to the sky. He just he went just before Bowser took the star rod. He was such a great kid. He looked after everybody. Oh. Do you think I'll ever get to see Twink again? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Let me save. What do you gotta say? What are you doing out here? Please get the star rod back from Bowser Mario. The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. Okay. Hey, like your twin is standing outside in the cold. 
thought you just might want to know that. Let's go... Yeah, let's take a nap. Might keep Paracarry out just because he can hit everything. Or Watt could too. So could Bo, but she's not ultra ranked, so... What are you doing over here? You found me! Hehehe. <laughs> what, did you see me glittering? Hey, do you think I can rise into the sky soon? Um... No. Sorry. Hate to break it to you, but no. Well, what are you guys doing in here? I'm cooking for the Star Kids. They're behaving pretty well. That's a relief. It's probably because they believe you'll get the Star Rod back. I certainly hope you do. Tell me a story. Tell me the story about the time you saved a Star Spirit. Which one? I've saved six of them so far. Why would... I don't know. Somebody read me a story. It was all about how stars in Starhaven grants people wishes. Okay. I wonder what Twink is doing. Do you think Twink's doing fun stuff up there? I... Mario couldn't tell you. I'm. Uh, he's actually watching over the Princess Peach, so... Yeah. Alright, let's go in here and talk to Murrow. House is kind of not great. Now, Mario, you must heed well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the Star Rod from Starhaven, the power of that place has weakened and star kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent an oh a ninji to my father Merlin hoping that I could coax you to come here. They're ninjis, that's cool. Because I have found out where the last star spirit is. You have? It came to me in a dream, a vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiver Mountain, which lies to the north, which we passed by just before getting here. Up top sits the Crystal Palace. Star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars, but as time passed, it slowly faded from pe the memories of local people. And now, no one can remember how to reach the palace. There is a way, though and it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. Oh, you gave me a scarf. Thanks. An ordinary scarf from Merle in Starborn Valley. Okay. This scarf has been passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City if you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace. Sadly, that's all I know. Well, that's better than nothing. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to Starhaven. Such a fate would be awful. Please, help them and expel Bowser from the sky. Oh, alright. feel like I need to... Oh, you're coming out with me. Oh yes, Mario. I'd almost forgotten. There is supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path to the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed down in this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Confusing, yes, but you must find this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please do not- don't forget it. Sorry, my sister's dog's barking and... Ugh. It's so annoying, because I know why she is, because... My neighbors come home around this time, and they're loud as shit. And I'm sorry for swearing, I've been doing a good job of it lately, but I'm in this video here, I'm gonna go settle her down, and then I'll start recording again when, uh, I'll, I'll just see you guys in the next video, what am I talking about? So, bye for now guys.